Hi guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're going to be looking at something really really quick. Uh, the question is about how can you attach bump maps. So you can attach either bump maps or normal maps to your object and use them to actually create some sense of depth. So there's actually a video which we've done earlier that has to cover materials but I think a lot of people did not get the idea behind that and that's why we're making this video today. So we have Twinmotion open and what we're going to do is go over to furniture and go to primitive and drag a box directly here. I'm going to press F so I can focus on this box. Next thing I'm going to do is either press T on the keyboard or use the eyedropper picker or material picker and select this. Then I'm going to go over to where we have more within the settings and click more here and load up a particular kind of material. So two things to note, you can either load up a displacement kind of material, an alpha kind of material like the black and white ones, or you can go ahead and use normal map. So we're going to use the normal map and simply hit open. And with the normal map attached here, what we're going to do next is just pick this, drop it directly here just to make sure that it's assigned, go all the way back and increase the bump up. Now, by increasing the bump, you can now see that we have some sort of displacement or bumpiness happening on our model. So you can use this to actually create some sort of bump or, you know, drive some sort of displacement on your model. Other things that you can do is, you know, you can come over here, use the color, change how you want this thing to look. And if you actually have a material that has to do with this, you can come through, go over to this section called more, click here and hit open. And with this here, you can go around and let's just assign this back here. And you know, you can see how this looks. Let's turn this thing around just to see what it looks like. All right, so you guys can see that we have this material here. This is just a follow up to how you can attach materials or how you can you know use custom materials in your own project so if you have issues about this please put them in the comment section and i'll do my best to get back to you guys about this if you have other questions with other videos that you've seen whether on the channel or any other place on the internet and you have questions about this please put them on the comment section and i will try as much as possible to reach out to you guys and give you guys some solutions about them and if you like this video or you learned something from it go ahead and hit the like button and don't forget to turn on notification and if you're new here it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so you don't miss the next video update and until i see you guys again with the tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace